logic of whether or not something is a fruit or a vegetable or whatever. Like we all know scientifically a tomato is a fruit, but back in the old days when they made it a vegetable legally, it had to do with commerce. It had to do with what farmers were selling and tax reasons, things like that. That's what defines whether or not something is a fruit or a vegetable. And it's the same now. Uh, apparently those in the pizza business uh, wanted to get around some kind of tax fiasco and now legally it's considered a vegetable for economic reasons. And how convenient that Herman Cain, the pizza guy, is uh, in the running for president. I, I don't think that's a coincidence at all. Uh, you know, I don't see how it directly benefits the pizza industry. Uh, I think more so it, it benefits, uh, you know, dairy farmers and salt miners and uh, wheat farmers and all these other food products. But that's what it is. The food industry is very corrupt. And it's bought out the FDA. It's bought out sanitary officers. It's, it's just, it's bad. If, if you know anything about how dangerous meat is to consume because they just let them wallow in their own filth and they torture them and there's just no need for it. You know, it isn't even about how I feel bad for the animal. I don't give a shit if they kill an animal, but there's no need to ruthlessly torture something. You know, veal is made out of a baby cow being tied up and unable to move so that it has muscular degeneration and it's just basically this fat blob that they kill. That, that, that is beyond horrific. You would never conceive doing that to your day-to-day -day life. You would think that person was a serial killer, and they would be a serial killer. You would put that person in jail, even if they did it to an animal. But yet, the farming industry gets to do it, and not only do they get to do it, but they get to make a lot of money doing it. Uh, if, you want, if you want to know a little bit about chemistry, pizza is less of a vegetable then soda and cough syrup are heroin. Uh, down on a chemical level, cough syrup has many qualities similar to heroin. That's what makes it addictive. Uh, and the same thing goes for soda. Obviously, soda is not like shooting up heroin, but you will get addicted. And it can have the same health hazards, things like that. But yet, they still market soda to where children, they still make a lot of money on it. Uh, you know, cough syrup is the same thing. It's over the counter. They don't care. People drink it like it's fucking candy. And, you know, it just makes no sense to me. Now, I'm not saying that we should ban, uh, you know, soda or cough syrup. I'm not suggesting that we need a license to uh, sell the shit. I'm not saying that you need a doctor's written approval before you can get cough syrup or soda. What I am saying is that if the government wants to legally define anything, they should start from the bottom, you know, they should start from something that's actually realistic. Realistically, cough syrup and soda are not good for you. They do their job in, a, you know, amusing you, having a decent taste, and putting you to sleep, but that would be like saying you should shoot yourself up with a tranquilizer if you have insomnia. It's ridiculous. So, th that's my explanation for you, which I'm sure you already knew, I'm just going more in depth. See you later.